takes of the film. Finn, who was essentially useless in The Force Awakens, continues to be useless this entire film, uh, and I don't really get his motivation other than, where's Rey? And I have an Asian girlfriend now. Um, those are Finn's two motivation, and like, he hates the Empire. What the hell is up with Finn? You have us thinking there's gonna be a romance between Finn and Rey, and now, the little Asian girl, which I can't remember her name, is now supposedly falling in love with Finn. So what is Finn now? Is he some goddamn Finn gonna be juggling between going to choose to go with Rey, or while this little Asian girl is behind him, trying to give him the, you know, twat? Finn did the same thing he did in the last movie. He just did the same arc. The same story was like, I used to work for the First Order, so I know how to get in there. You already did that! You already did that in the last movie! I'm sorry, I gotta stop. I'd rather like the slave Finn with the jacket running away for the First Order like a slave like he was drinking water with elephants, getting his back whipped, than watching this sheep. You derailed... What they did with Finn pissed me off entirely because I, I said, what am I watching? Don't show me this. Why am I looking at this? Why am I looking at BB-8? Freak BB-8! Freak the toys! Freak the kids! F the kids? F the kids! And then there's this new character, this Asian girl, who's there to provide a love interest for Finn. And she's the most irritating, annoying, dumbest character that they could have ever created. And I think it's great that they're including Asian girls in the Star Wars movies now. But there's millions and millions of really cute, attractive Asian girls, and out of all of them, they had to choose her. Probably one of the ugliest Asian girls I've ever seen. It was like they just went to a Chinese restaurant down the street and then randomly picked a waitress and said, Hey, do you want to be in our Star Wars film? We're looking for an Asian girl. You look Asian. Then, the moment I knew the movie was pretty much done for me is when Finn and, and Rose rode out of the city that they were stuck in on the backs of giant horse dogs. I, I don't even know how to end that sentence. Princess Leia breathing in space. Then it's too late. Leia's command post is hit by another ship from the First Order. Incredible. Yeah, and we see her body floating through space and it's a really beautiful end for the character because you should have her fly back. What? Leia, have her fly back like Mary Poppins. Um, but how? You know Mary Poppins? Yeah, 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 I know Mary Poppins. Have her fly back like Mary Poppins. But how? She uses the force? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I don't really have plans for her for the rest of the movie, but she could be in a coma. It's cool. Now let's talk about floating Leia, right? The bottom line is she looked like Mary fucking Poppins, right? I'm watching Star Wars. I'm watching Star Wars. I don't want to be like, oh, look, I'm glowing and now I'm floating back. Now just open this door for me and I walk through. I'm not dead now. God damn it! Carrie Poppins. Absolutely, completely stupid. When Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, gets sucked out of the, the spaceship and then, like, is out in space dead. And then all of a sudden, here she goes. She does, like, this flying Mary Poppins like force pole thing back to the ship. Oh, when she just blasts in outer space and she freezes, and then she becomes Supergirl Mary Poppins and flies <laughs> through the fucking space. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all. She, he goes, she goes, opens her eyes and goes. And then, the, like, she did the whole fucking Mary Poppins thing, fucking flying to the fucking ship. And then, like, literally no one asked her anything. Like, it wasn't talked about again. They were just like, yeah, this bitch just fucking flew to the ship, but no one asked her any questions. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what? What about uh, Captain Phasma? Oh, well, I thought she was really underused in the first movie. Agreed. So I did that again. Oh, yeah, and also she dies. Wow. Captain Phasma, the best useless character ever. I swear, she exists only to be in the trailers. She offers nothing of value and is in this movie for like two minutes. Yet the trailers make it seem like she's supposed to play some prominent role. And now I've waited another two years to see fucking Skywalker. And what? He doesn't even fight in this movie. He, he, Luke Skywalker doesn't fight in this movie. Who the fuck is making this fucking film? Seriously. Even if you weren't a Star Wars fan, after watching the original three, four, five, and six, 
and you were involved in the production of this movie or the script or the directing or any of those, you would put Luke fucking Skywalker fucking fighting. Why wouldn't you? For fuck's sake. Obi-Wan Kenobi gets cut in half by a lightsaber and disappears. Yoda is like 900 fucking years old. But Luke is just really tired. I'm really tired. Okay, so what about the other big cliffhanger? What's that? Well, at the end, Rey is handing Luke his lightsaber back. It's like a huge moment. Oh yeah, well he just tosses it over his shoulder like garbage. Oh, yeah, and then he squeezes some boobs and goes fishing. What? Uh, whose boobs? Just this big alien sea cow with four boobs. A big alien sea cow with four boobs. Yeah, and then the alien sea cow with four boobs looks at Rey like... You seen this? They had Luke being not Luke. Luke was not Luke. Like, I'm sorry, like... That is not Luke. Luke would never do that. Why the fuck would they make him be so, oh, like I failed Ben, oh. Like, shut up, bitch, shut up, get up, go back, fucking kill Snow, fucking. <sighs> Ray's there, she hands him the lightsaber and he throws it over the cliff. His dad's lightsaber, the lightsaber that he lost in Cloud City. He doesn't give a shit. I don't like the fact that Luke was such a fucking pussy in the movie. You're telling me Luke Skywalker, who wouldn't kill his evil father, straight up evil, murdered children, murdered probably thousands of other people. You're telling me, you're telling me for a fucking second that he would kill his own nephew, that he would murder, he would think about fucking murdering his nephew. No, that's not gonna fucking happen. That, that wouldn't happen. He wouldn't do that. You are ruining the Luke character. Luke fucking die! This movie already did an amazing job making Luke Skywalker out to be a bitch and an unlikable character, even from the start. Even though Mark Hamill was 90% of the reason anyone showed up to this fucking film, they still made him out to be a piece of shit. Luke was made out to be a coward who ran away from his problems. He was con he was a conflicted mentor who didn't even know the right path himself, even though he was supposed to be a fucking legend. He was bested in a stick battle by a girl who just learned the Force last week, and he died like a fart in the wind, which did nothing to further his plot. Because at one point, Luke grabs his knight's glass and he walks up to this sitting sea goat and he just gets a little bit of two percent. But then Luke goes to down to the beach, and I saw something <laughs> truly horrible. <laughs> There's this space walrus sitting down like this, and he grabs a pacifier, and he milks the space walrus. And then he, he takes a huge chug of the space walrus milk going down his face, and then he goes, Ray's following Luke around on this planet, and then it's like, oh, this is what he's been doing. He fishes, and that's how he gets food. And it's like, okay. But then before that, he's just like this weird anthropomorphic alien monster who's just kind of sitting, like, slunched over on a rock. And it's got, like, four, like, it doesn't even look like udders. It looks like human breasts. Yeah. And he starts milking the breasts and drinking milk. Yes. And I was like, what the fuck am I watching? This isn't Star Wars. Chewie tells Luke that Han died and Luke could not give one fuck less about it. He tells Rey to go away and in the very next shot she's going on a morning stroll with him to milk the ball sack tits of a farting elephant person. We gotta have Luke getting milk from four nipples of this creature and drinking in front of them, in front of Rey. Here, here's some nipples from this creature and he gets some nipple milk. From some titties. Get some titty. Not even like a good set of titties, it's a fucking creature dinosaur titties. <laughs> honestly, I'll tell you what I think. I honestly think, I'm starting to think that the whole series is a giant troll. It is the biggest wind-up that's ever been done in the history of cinema. And the whole thing is a test to see how f***ed up and gullible people are that actually like this. Yoda went from being a puppet to CGI back to a puppet. They're gonna use the puppet. And then they flip it around, and it's Yoda, and he says something, and this is my reaction. That's not fucking Yoda! Because he shows up, and I started laughing, because it's like, that just looks like a cheap fucking puppet that they got from Walmart. Look at Empire, Yoda. 
Now think back to to Last Jedi Yoda. You can't even compare the two. It's like they got on set. The lighting's the the, the lighting's there. The cameraman's all ready. Everyone's set to go. And then the, then they're like, all right, bring out the puppet. And the art department's just like, oh fuck, we forgot the puppet. We forgot the fucking Yoda puppet. They just they just got themselves over to fucking Target and they're like, hey, uh, that works, right? It's five dollars. It's a five dollar puppet. That worked. This entire movie was Family Guy. You turned Star Wars into Family Guy. What are what are two creatures that people find cute? I don't know, uh, seals and penguins. Perfect, I'll mix those two together and put a bunch of them on Luke's Island. Are you gonna incorporate them into the plot somehow? No. Chewbacca is there for fucking joke about eating these porgs, these fucking Furby motherfuckers that's roasted, and they'll give him the anime fuck-me eyes. Chewbacca is a walking porg joke generator, and it's always the same one. It's always, what do I do with all these porgs? The Last Jedi tries too hard to be funny, and it's not funny. It's just cringy, and it's just like, what the fuck does this have to do with the rest of the fucking movie? What the fuck? <laughs> It makes no sense for Kylo Ren to kill Snow. It made no fucking sense. You can even be a girl with no fucking training, but you can kill Snow. Makes no sense. Makes no fucking sense. Kylo Ren is such an inconsistent, melodramatic annoyance that I was begging for someone to chop his ugly fucking head off. And oh, you had the social justice warriors. You had the, the purple-haired bitch. You had the, the black man, the white woman, hugging it out. You had the, you had the Asians. Yo, and you had the Asians. Oh. Oh, you fucked it. You fucked the movie good. If you go to China and you watch a Chinese movie, do you think Chinese people complain that their Chinese movie is full of Chinese people? Do you think they go, hey, our Chinese movie, there's too many Chinese people in it, we need some white people, so so it's multiracial. No, in China, the Chinese movies have Chinese people in them. Let's make more irrelevant characters. We need more of them. There wasn't enough in this movie. Let's. We need more. More irrelevant characters. That's how we really fuck this movie up. Oh, yeah. Oh, we just need to introduce more irrelevant characters to push a political narrative no moviegoer could give a fuck about. Let's make sure we have a whole subplot around every single age, race, religion, gender, and shoe size just so nobody feels left out. Do you like Luke Skywalker? Well, fuck you. I fuck Luke Skywalker. Are you yeah. a little girl that likes horses? Well, you're gonna love this piece of shit. Are you Asian? <laughs> we got a character for you to relate to. First and foremost, if I'm in charge of this, if they hire me today and I'm in charge of this, anyone who wrote part of this fucking movie had any hand in on this, they're fired now. Get your shit and get the fuck out of here. You're done. Kathleen Kennedy needs to shit can. She's dumb the fucking rock. I hate her. I despise every single fiber of her. Everything. This movie is written and directed by Ryan Johnson. He Stars, wrote this shit? He wrote this. And you gave Ryan Johnson his own trilogy? Miss me! This is better than Empire Strikes Back? No. That movie is a freaking masterpiece. I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. Like, on par with Empire? Shit. As a moviegoer, I give Star Wars... The Last Jedi, a C minus. Mediocre! As a Star Wars film, as me being a fan and knowing what about Star Wars, bruh, I give this movie a F minus, nigga. Trash! Garbage! Fail! This is a trash movie, bruh. F minus, minus.